Welcome to another Catapult Training. This is John C. Bland II, and we thought it'd be great to discuss TFSEC. So when creating Terraform code, a lot of times those who are creating the code may not have all of the requisite experience with security in order to understand what should and shouldn't happen. A lot of times we're pulling code from Terraform docs and we're just kind of utilizing what's available to try to get it working, and that's okay. We all have specific lanes that we're particularly good in. But it's always great to consider security whenever you're building anything infrastructure related. So along those lines, it's good to have tooling to help us determine whether or not our infrastructure is secure or not. Well, in comes TFSEC. Now, TFSEC uh, is a free tool. Uh, it can also be tied in with any CI CD that you're using. We're going to look at it on GitHub Actions. So we're going to skip the installation part. I'm on a Mac, so I installed it quickly with Brew. Uh, you can also do this by building the Docker image and running it directly that way as well. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to utilize the tfsec command here. Now I've taken their example code and brought that in uh, because there's a lot of different options to be able to use here. In this case, let's take a look at the output whenever we run it on this particular set of Terraform. All right, we get a few warnings, but we also get these tags that let us know what specific failure happened here. It tells us what file, line number, the very specific output here lets us know what's the offending line here. This lets us know we have an actual error. This one is more of a warning. This one is a specific error, letting us know that we have HTTP open. Here's a security group that doesn't specify a VPC. And here on Azure, we have an unencrypted managed disk. Now, it's important to note that TFSEC is not going to catch every single potential issue. So you still need to be clear on your own Terraform and do your own verification with your security team or other developers within your company. But this is a great way for us to get a good core set of rules that we can follow and utilize. So here are the available checks. It's largely AWS, but there are some Azure in here, and there's also some GCP. These are hopefully going to grow over time so we can catch more and more potential issues. They can definitely help you see holes in your system before they get into production. So let's see about fixing some of these up. So this one specifically states that we don't want this rule to be open to the world. Well, in some cases, that actually is what we want. So let's say if it's a web server and you actually want to serve traffic, your rule needs to state that the internet, basically 0000 slash 0, is available to access that specific resource. So in this case, it's, it's a bit of a false positive, and that's also why it has a warning here. So what we can do, there's a special syntax we can use here that actually says, let's ignore this. So if we run this again, we're now down to only three problems. That problem is actually gone. So definitely use that sparingly. Use it when it's needed, not to just get around some nuisance type alert. For this one, let's just go ahead and say we're not using 80. Let's use 443. There we go, we're down to two. Let's make that one true. All right, and we're down to one, and I'm just going to comment this one out for now. All right, so once we're done, no problems detected. So we're good to go. So we can do the same thing on GitHub Actions as well. So I've already set this up, but let's take a look at the workflow. We named it CI. We're going to run it on push, and we're running this on Ubuntu. First, we check out and then we run our Terraform scan. This is all it takes on GitHub Actions. So if we look at this run, this is the very first run that we looked at that had all of the errors in there. If we push up the latest code that has everything working, we should see a different output. All right, great, we've pushed up the code. Now let's check the action. 
Here we go. So now the workflow is starting. By the way, that is Git Tower that I was just using. It's a great Git tool. I definitely prefer it. All right, so the job is starting up. It's downloading and building the TFSEC image here. All right, it ran the scan, and now we're green. So you can see everything passed as it did locally. Of course, if we undo all of these changes, we push it up again, it's going to have a failure. And there we go, back to failing. So TFSEC is a great way for us to be able to validate our Terraform and also put some guardrails around infrastructure that multiple developers could be creating. I definitely suggest taking a look at it. At a minimum, get it into your local workflow. And then if everything looks pretty good and you can utilize it for your CI CD process, I definitely suggest getting it into there as well. Well, this has been another Catapult training. Hopefully you find it useful. Please subscribe to the channel. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. Happy coding. Yeah.